And now, 17 more hostages freed from Hamas control. This is the second hostage release, and the deal almost fell through today. They are now being taken back to Israeli hospitals like this one, and then will be reunited with their families. Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv, breaking down all these new developments. Robert. Kelsey, for the second consecutive day, we saw hostages released from Gaza, from Hamas's custody and then leave Gaza and are now back on Israeli soil. This was the video of the bus crossing from Egypt into Israel just a short while to go. And what we saw today really underscores the fragility of this whole situation here. Yesterday, from our vantage point, everything seemed to run about as smoothly as it could have been set in stone. But then what we saw here today were hour-long delays in the relationship release of all of these hostages. In the end, what you see on your screen here, these are the 13 Israeli hostages that were let go. There were also four Thai citizens who were released as well. On the other side of this deal, 39 Palestinians were set free from an Israeli jail. This is video of them just shot just a couple of minutes ago in the West Bank being released here. According to Qatari mediators, 33 minors and six women were all a part of that deal there. So this is what's happening tonight, and this is what we're anticipating these releases are going to look like. In terms of why there was this delay here today, that's not entirely clear, although Hamas claimed earlier that aid was not coming in quickly enough. The Israelis said 200 trucks worth of aid made their way into Gaza yesterday through that Rafah crossing. Now the UN saying today 61 trucks made their way to northern Gaza today. That is the most going to that region of the Gaza Strip since October 7th. So if all goes according to plan, we should be seeing another hostage release tomorrow. It was 24 yesterday. It's another 17 today. But there is this sentiment on the ground here, Kelsey, is, is that every single day, all of these different pieces of the hostage deal have to come together, which is why nobody is taking anything for granted. Kelsey? We are praying for these families, Robert. Thank you for that report live from Israel. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.